hot spot. Drop it like it's hot. hot. Drop it like it's hot. hot. So hot and hot. You can catch me at the hot spot. It's the Biara 18. All right, Tyrese Mountain Morning Show at the bottom of the hour. Time for the hot spot. What up, Brett? What up, Ricky? Good morning, everybody. I'm your girl, Brett Tat Tat, and this is the hot spot where we bring you music, movies, and more. So let's get off into it. Well, Rolling Stone uh, published an expose yesterday in which two current and 14 former staffers of The Tonight Show accused Jimmy Fallon of being drunk, erratic, and mean on the set. Now, as such, he has been accused of creating a toxic workplace, much like Ellen DeGeneres in 2021. Now, according to the report, dressing rooms for guests became crying rooms for staff members who were brought to tears by Fallon's behavior. Now, nobody told Jimmy no. Everybody walked on eggshells, especially showrunners, the former staffer told the outlet. You never knew which Jimmy you were going to get. And when he was going through a hissy fit, you caught it. Look how many showrunners went so quickly. We know they didn't last long. Uh, there have been nine different showrunners since 2014. My goodness. Another former employee said, yeah, that's I didn't a problem. Want, yeah, another former employee said, I didn't want to live anymore. I thought about taking my own life all the time. I knew deep down I would never actually do it. But in my head, I'm like, why do I think about this all the time? Ooh. Fallon reportedly issued an apology to his current employees yesterday following the release of the report. Of course he did. Two current employees uh, told Rolling Stone that Fallon said he didn't mean to create that type of atmosphere for the show, and then he feels so bad that he can't even explain. <laughs> yeah, you I can't. Bet. You just can't do that. Uh, yeah, uh, go to work. Don't drink <laughs> while you're at work. Be professional right. and be kind. Right. Be be nice there. You, you it's okay to set boundaries and stuff, and right. you have to set boundaries because the minute anyone gets comfortable, they do what they want to do, and right. some people don't don't like uh, uh, respect boundaries. But if anything outside of that, berating or cracking on or talking about or making people feel uncomfortable, you just don't do it. I, I had I was working on the show one time and everybody had work they had work for, for these other folks and uh they were shell shocked. They couldn't even believe that I was speaking to them. They were shocked. They didn't know whether to speak back because they weren't allowed to speak to or talk to uh, the person that they was working for. Or whatever, and I, I had to apologize to them folks. Uh, I really wow. felt bad for them. Yeah, yeah, it, it goes on, Brett, for real. Wow, that's crazy. I feel like you would want your people to have a nice work environment so they feel good. So when they're doing their job, they feel like they want to give you more or do more for you because they love their job so much. But if he was under the influence, he probably wasn't aware. Oh, yeah, Jesus. but you don't need to be drinking on the job because alcohol intensifies everything. Yeah. When you mix alcohol, that's why I don't I don't drink with, with relatives. I don't let relatives drink in their twenties because they mm. get fly at the mouth and I, they'll be over. I'll be the dope <laughs> on the table <laughs> on the ass. No, you don't. You don't drink in my house in your twenties. Right. You don't go to my bar and get nothing to drink in your twenties. I don't give a damn what the uh, legal adult whatever. But when, if you over here with your husband and your mm. kid and you want to go back there. And make you a little drink, and we having dinner. You classy and respectful. That's fine, but you have to ask me. Right. Yeah, all that, uh, that when you get alcohol mixed in, then you can't reason with right. people and, and right. stuff. And uh, everybody can't handle their liquor. Ooh, you better preach. Yeah, oh, you well, already we know I know. Man, listen, we're going to wrap up the hot spot on that note. But coming up next, we got Rock T's HBC. You know who we repping today, Rock T. Shout out to Graham fam. We're going to head to Gramlin State University, baby. That's next on the Ricky Smiley, Ricky Smiley Daddy. Morning Show. Daddy.